Earwax removal endoscope. Wait, is there a camera at the end? Oh, there is. It says 1080p FHD camera. Oh my god, I just got so excited to do this review. <laughs> okay. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kiwi, and if you're well, if you're new here, you wouldn't already and wouldn't have known that, so it's a good thing I said that, right? <laughs> I forgot my intro. It's fine. Welcome back or welcome if you're new. My name is Keely and today I'm going to be doing another review. This is an earwax removal endoscope with a little camera on the end. It's supposed to be a 1080p HD camera at the end. You can stick it in your ear, see what's going on in there. It says it's supposed to remove things. Sorry, getting ahead of myself. It is called the Bee Bird earwax removal endoscope. This is off of Amazon. I got it for $29.74. I'm lying. Okay, my husband bought it because he wanted to try it, but I wanted to get my little hands on it first. So anyways, my husband bought this on Amazon and it was for $29.74. It was on Prime, so it came within two days. This is what it looks like in the box. Here is the endoscope right here. B bird. So there it is. Tiny little guy. And it also comes with a little charger, a USB charger right there. And here is a little vial. I'm assuming, oh, it's got like little things in here. Okay, see I haven't really looked at this yet. So, hmm. Promote the intelligent of ear cleaning to public. That's their slogan. Uh, not very catchy, but whatever. Scan the QR code to download the app. So there's actually an app that you use for this, and I think that's where the feed comes through onto your phone. Let's go ahead and, oh, it just turned on. Okay, so I'm gonna download this app really quickly, and we're gonna give it a go. So if I'm being honest, I am usually good at cleaning my ears. I usually clean them with Q-tips every single time I shower. Um, but for the sake of this video, I haven't done that for about five days probably. We will see if there's any gunk and nasty earwax in there that it's gonna clean out. Or I guess we're just gonna see what's in there. Ew, what if there's like a bug in there? Bugs crawl on your ears. You know, I've seen those videos. And literally give you nightmares. All right, so I'm about to use it, but I want to read the specs really quick. It says it's a 1080p FHD camera and it's safe. With the 1080p high resolution camera, you can see the earwax clearly and remove the earwax safely with the soft ear spoon. Make removing earwax clearer, safer, and more accurate. Okay, ew, oh, it's about to get real nasty up in here. I hope this works. I'm kind of excited. About to see what the inside of my ear looks like. If you're a person that likes like um, Dr. Pimple Popper or something like that, you'll probably really like this. Me and my husband watch Dr. Pimple Popper all the time, so I'm totally, I'm totally into this. Okay, it's not working. What's going on? Oh, <gasps> this is freaking weird. Okay, okay, here we go. I'm gonna put the screen over here of my ear. hairs oh my gosh okay what the hell what is in there oh my god oh ew look at the hair this is freaking crazy what there's nothing on there yet ew but you can see it in there ew look you can see it right there This is crazy. There's definitely earwax on there. This is kind of gross, but it's kind of cool. So the camera's right in here. 
where the light is. You can only see like the tip of it. There's like debris in there. I keep moving my phone because I feel like my phone is going to put it at a different, ew. Look how much hair is in there. Okay, I'm really scared to like go far in there though, if I'm being honest. Oh. Whoa. Oh, no way. Oh, dang it, I gotta be really careful. I gotta like scoop it out. This is crazy. Ah, this is so hard to get like a good angle. Weird, it looks so big on the camera, but it's not in real life. Is anybody else like so intrigued by this? Okay, here we go. Um, oh, okay, here we're getting back in the nitty gritty. Okay, I'm really trying to get it out of there. It doesn't stick, oh, okay. You can see it on there. I'm like taking hairs out too. When I went pretty far back in there just now, that kind of hurt. So much hair, oh. Sorry, I can't. I really wish the camera was, oh. <laughs> That's gross. The body, the human body. So interesting. There's so many things that our body does to protect it itself, right? But sometimes it's like, what in the world? Look at that. Oh wait, let me go back a little bit further. Oh God, this is so hard. Look at all that chilling in there. You can see it. You can see my ear canal. <gasps> that is so far back there. I am not gonna push this thing back there. That hurt. You know what this reminds me of? The magic school bus. Who remembers that show? That's what this reminds me of looking into this camera at that angle. You know, the magic school bus would fly into the kids' bodies. Oh my gosh. And the reason why I thought about that is because if you think about it, like look at that. That hole back there, that goes to my brain. Wouldn't it be so cool if you could put like a little, like a little mini drone in your body and then just like go check everything out. That would be so cool. That's what that just made me think of. Okay, so first impressions of this. I, when I was looking at the packaging and I got this out, I thought, seems gimmicky. That's the first thing that I thought of, that it seemed a little gimmicky, that it seemed like, hmm. I mean, you can see really good in there. So what I was saying is, my first impressions, I think this is cool. I was having a hard time getting the earwax out, as you could tell. I don't know if anyone's gonna understand what I mean by this, but it's almost like when you try to play your boyfriend's video game, your boyfriend or your husband, whoever, a video game, and you're just, you don't play video games very often, and they have the freaking controllers like backwards. You know what I'm talking about? The little, what do you call them? The, the sticks, the controller sticks? They have it backwards so that when you push up, it goes down, and then when you push down, it goes up. It kind of feels like that. So I was struggling with that. Maybe someone, you know, maybe you wouldn't if you tried this, but I was having a difficult issue with that. I was having a hard time, like, understanding where it was, and it's just a little strange to look at a camera or look at your phone and be like, oh, what's going on in there, you know? But like I was saying, it did feel like it was kind of hard to get the earwax out, and I think maybe it's just because this is... I mean, it's just a little piece of plastic, so it's kind of slippery. Like when you put a Q-tip in your ear, you know, it's got cotton on it, so it, it probably grabs on to the earwax a lot better. But that was really cool. You guys saw my reaction. This is so interesting. Oh look, that's where my lip ring was. Whoa, that's a scar. <gasps> that's my tongue! Oh my god. This is crazy. Look at my teeth. Mm. There's my eyeball. Look at, oh, look at my eyelashes. You know what would be really cool is if you could just change the way that your eye perceives things. So you could just change your magnification of your eyes. What if that was like a superpower you could have? All right. I think I'm done messing around with this. I had a lot of fun playing with this. I just wanna keep playing with it. This reminds me of Raw Beauty Christy once again. I'm gonna talk about her in one of my videos again. She did a video with a little microscope on like makeup and stuff and then she did her face. Now, that makes me wanna get one of those now because that was very intriguing and interesting to do. 
That is the Bee Bird Earwax Removal Endoscope. It definitely works. It definitely has a high resolution camera. I think the position of the camera does make it a little bit hard, or at least I struggled with it, to kind of tell where I was going or what I was doing. I kind of wish that this little spatula was like in the middle. Because if you look, it's on the side. When I would turn it certain ways, it would just go dark on the feed because I was covering up the camera. But maybe it's just because it's so magnified that it's like, you're just looking at a different world, really. Because you kind of are, if you really think about it. The earwax doesn't stick very well to this. I will say that. It was sticking to it, but it like, it's not grippy enough for it to stick to it and just come right out. I had to slide it out of there and like scoop it out and sometimes it would just get stuck in different parts of my ear canal. But would I use this instead of Q-tips? Probably not. I guess this would be kind of cool if you were like maybe nervous that you had an ear infection or your kid had an ear infection, you could just stick this little guy in there and see what's going on in there. I guess that's kind of like what my husband wants to do is to see if his, if his ear canal is full again. I'm really interested to see what it looks like in my husband's ears. Hmm. All right guys, I have Kyle with me and we are gonna see what the inside of his ears look like. <laughs> Been interested to see how much earwax is in my ear, my right ear. You don't really need to look in the mirror. <sighs> I, <don't laughs> like I feel like I need to look into the mirror though. What's in there? Hairs. A bunch of hairs. Does that hurt? You're going way back in there. Oh, you actually see it all? Wait, I feel like I had more in my ear. It's all hair. <gasps> Ew! Okay, there's a lot back there. You're looking at, you're not even looking at the camera. What were you doing? I can't, it's hard to get earwax out. Yeah, see, I was kind of struggling too. It's a little hard. Oh, shnikes. Ew, it just like looks really sweaty and like. Moist. Just gooey and. Mm, yeah, it's. Yeah, a... Super. Oh! I just got quite a bit. <laughs> Ew, like you can't even see that in real life. Like, Ew. that's a lot. Nasty. Oh, you can see it. That's quite a bit. I mean, I'm getting earwax out, but I don't know how much better this is than like a Q-tip, huh? I don't know. It's kind of just interesting. But let's see. I just wonder, if that's probably just the same as like putting in a Q-tip. Oh, but a Q-tip feels so good. <laughs> Where is it? Is it in your ear? It's oh my stuck in god. There. Wait, I got, we gotta get it out. <laughs> we have to get this she out. She just lost a Q-tip in her ear. It's gone. All can that earwax sucked it up. There it is. You can see it right there. Performance surgery here. You scream, I got nervous. Really? Did you just <laughs> fart? <laughs> Stop farting. Be calm. Okay. Woo! I don't have a steady hand when I'm laughing. Oh my god. That whole thing was in your ear. <laughs> That's why you can hear. I was not expecting that to happen. Holy shit. We're literally sitting here playing with the device and then I choose to get out a Q-tip and then that's where it goes wrong. Because you're like, oh, Q-tips are so much better. They are though, I guess. Until well, that's, our, that's literally never happened. <laughs> so, all in all, I think that this might be worth it for some people. For me, I probably would rather just use Q-tips um, to clean my ears out, just faster, easier. Um, but you never know, like it's still fun to play with. I could still get this out and play with it. So <laughs> my final consensus on this Bee Bird Earwax Removal Endoscope is I like it. Uh, I have a lot of hair in my ears that I, <laughs> 
I just was not expecting to have that much hair in my ears. It was a little hard to get the earwax out. It was a little hard to scoop it out. So that's kind of what this says it's for, earwax removal. Um, but for me, it kind of just felt like it was kind of just sitting on the edges of my ear canal, like it's supposed to. And so I was just like, there wasn't much for me to get out, I feel like. So maybe that's why. But another cool thing is that it connects to iPhones and Androids as well. So it doesn't matter what kind of phone you have or computer. I think it does. Oh yeah, it says smartphone and tablets. Maybe I just need a little bit more practice. That's all. I've never done this before. So I liked it. I think it's cool. If you have messy eardrums or if you got clogged up eardrums, this might be a good thing for you. That's it for this video. I am going to go now. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to comment down below what your thoughts are. I always love talking to you guys. What did you think about this? Were you totally grossed out? Were you totally intrigued? And you're like, oh my god, that's so nasty, but I love it. It's like one of those things for me, it was like, you just can't look away, you know? Please let me know what you think, and if you haven't already, please subscribe because I'll be back with more reviews just like this. Bye. What is that? This is really creepy now. I'm getting creeped out. <laughs> I'm gonna go wash my face like thoroughly. Do a dance. Make a little love. Get down tonight. Are you in <laughs>